Hamak! Amak, 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 amak. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go Here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the X Transbots fast. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have fast pointing all fast like. He is a shock trooper. His name is fast on this side. We always have the nice quote. If you're in control, you're not going fast enough. Ooh. On this side, we have fast. Up top, we have fast. On the bottom, we have, I believe this is their uh, next protect the bot. On the uh, back, we have a nice little artistic kind of G1-esque shot there. We have a very g one -y Tech spec card with a bio if you want to read that. You can read that on your own time. And back to the bottom, we get this very rarely in Transformers reviews, but we have... Sad Pac-Man! That's basically it for... The packaging also included is the collector's card with that same piece of artwork there. Uh, fast, on the back we have... The bio again, and the text specs again. If that interests you, hooray for cards. And moving right along, here we have Fast, and this is x Transbot's take on Runamuck. And here he is in his alt mode. He is packed in alt mode. Yay! But yeah, very nice looking alt mode. In my opinion, but let's get in close here so we can take a look out of the details. You got some black right up front and a whole lot of white. It's a, it's done in a pearlescent white. I don't know how well that comes across on camera, but it's a nice pearlescent white. Looks quite, quite good. They have the tinted windshields and windows there. Got a little bit of orange. You got the hubcaps there. Done in a silver chrome, some black striping. They picked out the uh, the handle there in black. That's more orange there. The back windshield is just painted black, and you have some black and red on the back there. Yeah, very simple car design. Simple but elegant. There is the top. There is the bottom. Everything's concealed very well. Also, you don't really have any visible much of anything that you could really make out. You have slightly visible finger syndrome, but other than that, everything is concealed very well. He does have rubber tires, and guess what? He can roll as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And for comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. Just can get a sense of scale there. Here he is with MP44 Optimus Prime. Again, just so you can see how that works out. Now, I don't have a G1 run amok, so sorry, no uh, precious comparison this time around, but I do have the Earthrise run amok, so we can see how he looks with the most recent mainline version of himself. So, there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, we only get one accessory. What? One accessory with a third-party toy? Get out! No, really. I mean, it shocked the crap out of me, too, but only one accessory. You know, usually you get, like, 50 things in the box with third-party toys, but no, only one accessory, and it's just his blaster here, done in black, and that is it. That is all we get accessory-wise with uh, Run Amok here. Now, you can store the weapon in the vehicle mode, and the easiest way I found to do that is just open up these panels here. Don't open them up all the way, because they're attached to these sections here. You don't want to risk breaking anything, but just splits the front here, and there are slots. You, I don't know if you can see them. There are slots in there for the tabs on either side of the handle, and you just kind of get that in there, and pray to the gods that they kind of land where they need to land, and if they do, which they probably do not, up the hood as well. Nope, I was nowhere near in the right place. We're back here, but it's doable. There we go. Let's get it all situated. Just tab it all back together. Get it all back together. And voila, there's your weapon storage. Doesn't affect anything. Still rolls as rolling things should. Yay. Now, as far as some extra features with the vehicle mode, you pretty much already saw one. We can open up the uh, the hood here, and we can see some engine detailing in there, done in silver and black. Looks pretty cool. You do also have the uh, flip-up headlights here, 
And it's easiest to do this when the uh, the hood is open. So there you go. Get your little headlights there. You can open up the door. This is kind of funny though. You open up the door and you see another door. Well, another window anyway, but you can open that up. So open both <laughs> doors up. And you can see you do have seats in there. In the driver's side, there is a steering wheel as well. If I can get the doors open there. There we go. You got the seat. And you got a little steering wheel in there. So pretty cool. You get a little bit of an interior going on. I appreciate it personally. I dig it. Why not? Dare I say, why not? So that is basically it for the alt mode. And I think it looks quite good personally. But let's get down to transformation, shall we? The rubber wheels, you can't spin them. Mm. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to open up the door. And we're going to untab this section right here. Bring that out, do the same thing here, open up the door, and untab this section here. Bring that out. Once you've done that, you can take this fender piece here and bring that down. Take that and bring that down. You can kind of swing these forward just to get them out of your way for now. And once you've done that, you want to come back here to this wheel section. You want to pop the wheel up. This little section is also tabbed into the side, so undo that. And just bring all of this up like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Untab, untab, and bring that up. And next, we want to untab the windshield. And most of the time, it's easier to do this by just splitting this whole front end here. There we go. Makes life a little bit easier to so see it just tabs in like right up in there. So once you've undone that, now we can extend the lower body. So you're going to kind of start bringing this down and you're going to rotate the legs out. So rotate the legs as you're extending all that. And now we can start working on the legs. So you want to bring up the hood so you can grab his, uh, will be his toes here and extend all this out. You can see all this will come with it. And just kind of rotate it down like that so you have some room to operate here so what we need to do is we need to extend this knee joint here just pulls out once you pull that off far enough this little panel here will close up and now we can take this entire assembly here with the door and just raise all this up and out of the way you have this section right here you're going to bring that down you have a panel here that you're going to flip out then you have this little tab section right here that is going to come up so next thing you're going to do is we're going to take the hood there's a section that you need to flip under and this is the part of the transformation i don't like because it doesn't there's there's no clearance for this and you are kind of flexing things around i've tried to angle this in many different ways and it's just no matter what i end up having to kind of flex things around and you know me i'm not a fan of that but just get that around be careful there you go. Fold that up right there. Then you can close that and then rotate all of this in like that. Now, once that is done, you can take this little section here and just bring that off to the side. The door itself is on a little sliding pin here. Bring that up and then rotate the door around. So it's sitting like that. And you're going to bring all of this down, take the window and fold it in at 90 degrees and then just bring all of this in and you're going to have a tab slot connection that happens right here. Get everything straightened out. And you're also going to have a tab slot connection here and a tab slot connection here. So just get that all squeezed in, get that all squeezed in. In a nice neat little package and then you can close this up and we got that part done and now for the feedies uh first you want to take this and just bring this out get that out of your way you want to take the section here with the wheel and rotate this around to expose these wheels and then you're going to bring this wheel down and that will be the bottom of his foot then you're going to take this and swing this under and then this will swing up and over these wheels right here will rotate so they're sitting a bit further down and they can just straighten everything out collapse that foot up and there you have a leg all done and guess what second verse is just like the first 
And now he has two legs, hooray for legs, and now let's move on up. So next thing you want to do is you want to take these seats here and you just tab into the back here. So just untab it and just basically flatten it out. Uh, this side with the steering wheel, you just want to take the steering wheel and just kind of flatten that out as well. And then just bring that seat right over it. Uh, we have these bits right here that we need to flip out. These little bits, flip it out and flip it out like that. And that's ready. So now we're going to untab this rear windshield section here. Just undo that and that will allow you to then split this back section here and bring these out. Once that is done, you can take the arms, untab them and just rotate them down. Take it and rotate it down. Now this whole section here is on a double hinge. So you can just rock that back and we need to take this roof and windshield section and bring that back and then just bring the roof and windshield section forward so it compresses up like that and then you just want to take these little sections here flip that in flip that in take these wheels and rotate them in rotate them in and then this entire assembly will just tuck in and look like that so now you want to take the uh, shoulders here and just rotate them in on that hinge or just rotate them forward all the way just to get them out of your way. Get these out. They're on double hinge as well. Just extend things. And now you're just going to take all this and swing it back like so. And once you have done that, you want to make sure that this double hinge is now seated. We'll bring this back first and then just bring that up to the uppermost position. So rotate that back and then bring that to the uppermost position so it looks like that and then you just take the two halves and merge them together you can just angle that down and that will make his little head awning and at this point now you can take his head and turn it around so now bring his shoulders back and bring his arms up just so you can kind of see what's happening here so this assembly here this top section here his head is resting on it's on a double hinge so what you want to do is just take it and shift it back and you can see there are little tabs that will go into notches right here on either side so just get all that into position and just get those notches those tabs and those notches and that will look like that when you're done and now you just want to accordion this waist section in just get that flat and bring that down there are little you can see here little nubs that will go into these ports there on the waist piece so just kind of get everything in place and just pop that in so that waist is now in one piece and now you have a tab that will go into a slot right in here if you have everything lined up that should just secure itself right in there like that and we're at the home stretch here we just have the arms to do so undo this tab take the arm and rotate it forward then you can close this back up you then extend the arm rotate it so the elbow is oriented properly and just flip that hand out there you have that all done a little squeaky there and the second verse is just like the first and once you have that done there you go there you have fast A.K.A. Run Amok in his robot mode. I think it looks pretty good, personally. I personally think they uh, they captured the character pretty well. What do you think? I think it looks good. I personally think they did quite a good job here. I dig it. I dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look not at those abs, at the noggin. Whoop, there's the noggin. Ah. And a good looking head sculpt there. Just a whole lot of weight going on. You get the eyes done in red. And you can see the contrast here. You can kind of see like the uh, kind of the regular white against the pearlescent white. Which actually does make for a nice contrast. I do quite like how that turned out. Again, he has a little head awning going on there. You can see now you have the faux, the faux uh, card top chest. Now, some people will complain about that, but I think it works. I think it works out, personally. Oh, no. Looks good. Again, a whole lot of that pearlescent white. Not a whole lot to speak of coloration-wise, but that's the way the character worked. That's the way it looked. So, you know, can't, can't argue with accuracy. You got the little faux wheels there on the sides. Again, with the hubcaps done in silver. 
The only thing I don't like about this figure are the backs of his feet. This right here, yeah, just reminds me of uh, MP Bumblebee. And yeah, not, not a fan. Not a fan of this. Wish they could have handled that in a more elegant way. That's the only qualm I have with this figure. It's just, I mean, yeah, yeah, not feeling that. Not feeling that at all, but there you have the run of booty. There you have the backpack. There you have the real, <laughs> the real top of the car on the other side of the fake top of the car, but still, oh no. I think he looks pretty good, and he comes together quite well. You can see, I mean, everything is filled in. He's not really gappy, you know, all in all. It all comes together quite nicely. Now, articulation-wise, what have we got? Well, I'm going to tell you. Uh, the head is on a ball joint. You do you get your wiggly waggly? Can, can't really look up all that much. Can look down a good bit. Head can rotate. It can do a full 360, but just too tall stuff around there. It is kind of hard to kind of get things moving, but you can get it moving. Arms, they're squeaky, but it can do a full 360. Can move in and out at this hinge. You do have the transformation hinge also, so you have two points of outward movement. For those shoulders, you have bicep rotation. You have 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You have wrist rotation. Quite snug on my copy. The hands can open and close. They can also move inward due to transformation, if that's a thing you need it to do. You got waist rotation. You also get a bit of an ab crunch there. Legs can move forward that far. You can do the big boot. Back and get it that far. Outward. Oops, be mindful of the waist there as you're moving things around. Oop, that, there we go. Outward. You can lift up these panels here. Outward. You get only about that far. I can't do the full splits. You got thigh rotation. You have a single jointed knee, but you get good range of motion out of it. As far as the feet, they're on this double hinge here, so you can get those toes moving up, get them moving down, and you do have lots, lots of ankle tiltage. And, of course, he can hold his weapon. Oh, you know what? I always forget to mention butterfly joints on the shoulders there. Yes, he has that. He can do that. Bring his arms in front of him and bring them back also. So, again, some extra range of movement there. But anyway, he can hold his weapon. That's the usual tab in the slot of the palm method of weapon holding. Just get in there. Just get just get all up in there. Get, 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 get. There we go. Wrap his fingers around it. <laughs> like so. And he can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, and all of that good stuff. The gun's a little loose in his hand, though. Just a little loose. But he can still pew, pew, and bang, bang to his heart's content. So there you have that. And now for Camparas. Hunt! Here he is with Masterpiece Sideswipe. With Masterpiece Prime. You can see how that works out. Prime's a bit taller. With Masterpiece Megs. And again with the Earthrise Run Amok. So you can see how that works out. So there you go. Go! So there you have Fast, and um, yeah, all in all, I think this is a pretty well done figure here from X-Transbots. Um, I only have two qualms with the figure. Um, number one, uh, folding that section of the hood in when you're going into robot mode. This, this total clearance issue there, you have to flex plastic. Again, there may be a el more elegant way to do it that I just don't know about. I could be doing something wrong, but as it is clearance issue there, which I'm not happy about, and also the backs of his feet. I don't like the backs of his feet. I wish that was done a bit more elegantly. But other than that, he looks good. The robot mode looks good. The alt mode looks good. Um, the transformation, it works. Other than that one clearance issue, it's, it's a pretty enjoyable transformation. And it all comes together very nicely in both modes, so as far as I'm concerned, this is a pretty well done figure. Now, I don't have his partner yet, but he is on the way, and we'll take a look at him when he arrives. But, uh, yeah, again, as far as fast goes, I like him. I really like him. I think they did a good job here. So, there you go. Now, I picked this up from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the X Transbots Fast. And this is M Ghost saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. 
Come in your face. You need me? Ah, run amok. Ah, hey, where's your partner? No, he's indisposed. Indisposed? Indisposed? What, does he have something better to do than serve his lord and master? Primus knows I do, but here I am. Oh, nice, real nice. Yeah, whatever. You know, I hope your partner has a better attitude. No, it's way worse.